for some reason, while I was working on this video, the biggest thought I had in my head was, are they ever going to put the police vehicles on discount anytime soon? Anyways, hello everyone, welcome back to another weekly update as of the new month of 2024, February 1st. In a couple of weeks, it's going to be surprising to me to hear to say that it's going to be February 29th, because that is the new, let's say, leap year, let's say, it's the leap year this way. Anyways, regardless though, there's some rewards linked to this, let's say, leap year stuff, however, the Year of the Dragon is, so it's called, and so we're going to be discussing all of that, the new weekly event update content, especially for the first part of this video, followed by the weekly news of the past week in GT Online. So without further ado, hope you guys do find this video highly, highly informative of anything or everything you may need or want to know for this week in GT Online. And if you did find it informative as such, do leave a like, subscribe, or you can even go the extra mile and share with your friends or leave a comment in which you like or may not like as much about this week. Now, without further ado, let's get into this week's weekly update content. So, first off, I like to start off with the fact that I've had an earthquake this morning. Uh, wasn't that big? Some sources have stated it was a Mag 3.2. Some have also, some have stated that it was otherwise a 3.7 or a 3.8. Regardless, I was asleep and I didn't even wake up because of it. It was... To some, to some it even felt like a heavy rig, like, transporting loads of goods was driving down their street at a certain speed that just rumbled the ground or something. Anyways, it wasn't that big of a deal. No damage was reported and everyone's safe. And now let's move on. Um, so drip feed stuff, content, whatever. Here's the weekly update rewards that I call drip feed just because it's finally released for now for a limited time. Anyways, bonuses. We have limited time Lunar New Year gifts where you can log in practically most of the majority of this month to receive three new clothing items, of course. Thanks, Rockstar. There's triple rewards on Simeon contact missions, including premium deluxe repo work, Simeon's expert requests, and the community series, because there's seven new community series jobs that have been released to the public that I will go over the details very shortly. There's also double rewards on auto shop client jobs, exotic exports, and the Vespucci job remix adversary mode. And for those who are wondering, auto shop client jobs are not to be confused with the contracts. Those are the vehicles the customers bring in that you have to remodify to your expertise and get money from it up to 80,000. Well, now it pays 160,000. Gosh. Yeah, do those vehicles. It's totally worth it. Anyways, discounts this week. We have a discount on a weapon. The Eclipse Boulevard Garage, including customizations, which I've shown that which I will show the prices very soon, as well as five Simeon dealership vehicles with unique prices, in which most of these in this image are not accurate because they came from Discord, and so I will show you the actual prices straight from the game tags that I've rewritten basically. Anyways. Besides that though, vehicle showcase, we have a new podium vehicle in the Diamond Casino, we have a new prize ride, the Michelli GT, the limited time vehicle now available from in-game websites. The test rides are the Lynx, the Deviant, and the Easy Sport, three vehicles now available from in-game websites. For new gen players, the Hot Special Works test ride is the Sentinel XS. For luxury auto dealerships or showcase whatever, we have the Turismo, Omaggio, and the Vivanite, which I'm looking at this and I personally believe Rockstar is lacking creativity in choosing new unique vehicles for this showroom, I guess. And for Simeon's showroom, we have five vehicles that are have that have two things in common. First of all, all five vehicles now available from in-game websites, and second of all, all five vehicles are 30% off. We have the Verlier, we have the Raiden, we have the Morgan, we have the oh my gosh, the classic vehicle of all time. But I'm shocked that Rockstar dissed it so hard. The Infernus, and finally a vehicle that drifts upon takeoff really badly, the Nebula Turbo. Anyways. The, this week's weekly challenges, the Prima Race is in Cutting Car Owners, the Time Trial is in Mount Gordo, House Bushworks Time Trial for New Gen Players is Run Alternates, this weekly challenge is to deliver two Expert Request Vehicles to Simeon, and the Salvage Yard Robberies includes the LM87 from the Cargo Ship Robbery, the Coquette Blackfang from the Duggan Robbery, and the Greenwood from the Podium Robbery. And that's generally all the general 
need to know of what is this week's weekly update from Discord specifically. But now let's go through the details of the actual details of the this week's weekly content. Where first of all, we still do not have a new vehicle. And of course I got kicked from the session for being idle too long. So I don't care. Anyways, like I was saying, this vehicle has already been out for a few weeks, so there is no new vehicle once again for GTLI. So there's a little bit of details and whatnot for this vehicle. Of course, it's only free for players who have no consideration for the general world besides themselves because they would much rather spend it on absolutely god-awful nothing that has any benefit for them in the coming future. So they get a vehicle for free from Rockstar Games because they decide to dedicate $6 to absolutely nothing worthwhile besides that. <clears throat> Anyways, podium vehicle for this week is, of course, as you can see, the d -class Mamba. Yeah, HLS555. Nice. Let's just look at the license plate. Anyways, for those who want to win this vehicle with these cool looking flames, that's over a green based vehicle interesting choice of color rockstar um for those who wants to win it it will save you just under one million dollars besides the fact that it is not available from in-game websites so now is your chance to get this vehicle this week the prize right this week is the lampadati michelli gt which I just realized uh the mamba is still actually available in in-game websites I, this whole Vehicles being available, not available is confusing me. I'm surprised they keep this vehicle on their website. So yeah, if you don't score this week, well, you can still buy it from Legendary Motorsport. Wow. This shit is so confusing. Why the heck would you do that, Rockstar? You're brain screwing me. Anyway, surprise right, like I said, Lambda Image LIGT, this vehicle, I absolutely know is now available from in-game websites. So this vehicle is the only chance you can get at this week by placing top three for three days in a row in an LS car meet series this week. And I'd like to remind you again, yes, this vehicle is still available in Legendary Motorsport websites. This whole thing is confusing me. I swear, why did Rockstar have to do such a thing? Anyways, this week's weekly challenge, of course, you have to deliver two export vehicles to Simeon, which is prior to those street vehicles that you steal off the street and respray it and deliver it down to the docks in the white S logo when some guy goes like, ooh, that car is high, and then you just get paid some couple thousand dollars. A couple months ago, there was a community challenge to get like what 15 billion dollars i think about it something like that and yeah we scored it and of course we got like a new livery for the zentorno or the turismo maju i think regardless i am digressing vehicles in simeon's showroom like i've said all five vehicles are 30 percent off and not available from in-game websites guaranteed absolutely so we have the coil of raiden for nine hundred sixty-two thousand five hundred dollars we have the offer flood in Morgan for $1,537,160. We have the Volker Nebula Turbo for $576,140. We have the Bravado Avelier for $486,500. And finally, the Pegasi in Furnace is $308,000. All these prizes were taken straight from the game's price tag when you walk up to these vehicles, not taken from any other source besides the source of the game itself so these prices are accurate luxury autos vehicles features the turismo omaggio which is priced at two million eight hundred and seventy thousand and eighty dollars and we have the viva Knight as well that is priced at one million six hundred five thousand dollars test track vehicles these three vehicles are not available from in-game websites and they are not discounted we have the Shyster Deviant at $512,000. We have the Ocelot Lynx at $1,735,000, which for some reason I feel like this vehicle has been one of the most commonly chosen vehicles for weekly update showcased vehicles, whether it's in the podium on the Diamond Casino or if it's in this place or if it's in luxury autos. I feel like this is one of the most chosen vehicles out there. By Rockstar. Which makes me wonder, is this vehicle really worth it? Anyways, we also have the Winnie Easy Sports at $897,000. 
vehicle robberies this week for those who own an auto shop you can rob the lm87 from the cargo ship robbery you can get the get black fine from the duggan robbery and you can get the greenwood from the podium robbery the details of the prices of such are of course in the image that stated rewards for this week we have triple rewards in simeon's expert requests and for those who complete two vehicles this week will win the weekly challenge and earn you a hundred thousand dollars for your efforts which is pretty basic and straightforward we also have triple rewards on simeon contact missions as stated we also have new year new lunar new year celebration clothing rewards such as this mask which actually looks pretty sick honestly we have a dress probably for female characters yeah okay and we have this shirt which yay okay anyways we have double rewards on auto shop client jobs and we also have double rewards on exotic exports and we also have triple rewards on a new batch of community series jobs that rockstar likes to say it will last until february 7th but i think it's gonna last for three weeks minimum and I, I, rockstar doesn't like checking on this every like often Regardless though, we also have double rewards on the Vespucci job remix adversary mode, and here are the continuing GTA Plus rewards until the end of this week, so maybe next week we might be seeing a new vehicle. We shall see about that. Anyways, community series jobs. Here are the jobs that are new in the game and are now on triple rewards. We have these two stunt races called Down Undermining and Neon Pipeline on triple rewards. We have these two straight up races called Shortcuts in the City and Smells Like Vice City on triple rewards. We have these three community series death matches called Yo Rainbow Pistols, Ali Aquarium, and maze deathmatch nice now going into rockstar's official jobs simeon jobs that are on triple rewards this week features all in the game blow up one two and three chasers and chasers two el bureau heists gentry does it gta today it takes a thief repo blow up four repo burn rate repo do you even lift repo gta today 2 repo rv nearly there repo sasquatch repo simeonomics repo under the hammer richmond and richmond rockford roll and where's credit where credits do missions and on top of that we go into the adversary mode and we have double rewards on the vespucci job remix one through seven Discounts this week features especially discounts on the Eclipse Boulevard Garage and its customizations on 30% off as well as 5 vehicles being 30% off from Simeon's dealership. But first let's go through the gun van discounts and inventory where this week features an inventory of knuckle dusters, the battle rifle, the sniper rifle, the combat pistol, the advanced rifle, grenades, molotovs, proximity mines, and probably the most useless purchase of all of G2Line's history, bloody armor. For all players, you also have 30% off the Unholy Hellbringer, and for specific members for a new gen who decide to dedicate money to anything that could literally be much more wasted than even burning your money, which has even more purpose than spending it on GTA+, Plus, you can have 35% off the Heavy Rifle. Nice. Anyways property discount we have the eclipse boulevard garage being 30 percent off so now it should cost one million nine hundred eighteen thousand dollars and i had to do the math myself and the renovations are also featured when you go in the interaction menu to change or modify your eclipse boulevard garage where you can modify these three customizations where immaculate will now cost ninety five thousand nine hundred industrial will cost one hundred twenty six thousand and indulgent will cost 185,000 rather than the original prices because they're 30% off this week and also if you decide to change the accents all accents all 12 of them are 30% off from 75,000 so they will all cost $52,500 vehicle discounts especially that all these five vehicle discounts are not available from in-game websites we have the coil raiden that's 30 percent off at nine hundred sixty-two thousand dollars 
We have 30% off the offer flaw de Morgan with $1,537,160. We have 30% off the Vulcan Nebula Turbo at $576,140. We have 30% off the Bravado Verli at $486,500. And 30% off the all-time classic GTA vehicle, the Infernus, at $308,000. All these prices were taken straight from the in-game price tags, not from any other source. Because that's what it costs in-game. So I just took it from there and just rewrote it for the snip purposes. Anyways, time trials this week. We have a time trial at Mount Gordo. And we have, for new gen players, a House Special Works time trial at Ron Alternates. And that's all the new weekly details for this week's weekly update content in GTA Online. For those who found it highly informative so far, thank you for watching. Until this point, if you wish to stay tuned for more, go ahead to leave a like, subscribe, or you can even go the extra mile and share with your friends. Or leave a comment and tell us, or to everyone, or me, precisely, what you like or maybe dislike about this week's weekly update content now without further ado let's get into the weekly news of the past week's gta related news so let's get into that right now now news from twitter from one of the most trusted members of leaked gta related stuff or whatever so this guy has stated earlier at the beginning of the week well before you know when the drag races were double rewards when it first released he has discovered that you can get more cash and RP for being slow in a drag race. So here is his time with whatever car he's driving, it could get D10. So he showed his time was 6 minutes 15.050 with his RP and cash reward being 2,290 RP and $11,926. But when he completed the race in a minute and 12.906, he only got 570 RP. Which was, holy crap. That's like 1700 less RP. And his cash reward was 2000 only. On double rewards? Compared to 11000 that's $9,000. You get an extra $9,000 spending an extra 5 minutes on a drag race. <gasps> wow! Okay, Rockstar. Go screw yourself. Anyways, Rockstar support has stated on February 28, 2024, Rockstar Games will consolidate its terms of service and end user license agreement. Players will be required to accept the new TOS when they sign in. More information available here. So basically, long story short, what this means is they are putting together the terms of service and EULA all together to make a more simplistic and slightly more understandable terms of service for those who still continue to disobey them even though rockstar is not going to do anything more besides that they just they're just saying hey stop modding and everyone's just like yeah shut the fuck up rockstar and then they continue doing our thing and rockstar's just they're like well we tried can't do anything we don't work and just gonna sit back and let them continue breaking our TOS and ULA until they start like I don't know respecting each other and start stroking each other off then we're gonna do our business or something I don't freaking know Rockstar what's wrong with you anyways so in that statement they have all this writing and what is changing about the legal terms frequently asked questions so they have all this data for those who wants to read it go right ahead there's also an extra bit of information for those who are asking, when are these changes taking effect? What is happening to Rockstar Games EULA? Why are we making these changes? Where will the new terms of service be posted? And is anything happening to Rockstar Games privacy policy a part of this change? Of course nothing's gonna happen. Rockstar's still gonna let you guys have your IP addresses get stolen by modders with particular mod menus. They won't give a crap. Anyways, uh, what interests me the most about all of this new legal stuff is the fact that, besides the fact that, you know, the game is minimum 17 plus, at least rated by, you know, that fancy name I keep forgetting what it's called. ERSB, something like that. You know, it's that fancy company that always, like, gives an age rating to a certain game that's, like, M for mature, or E for everyone, 
or you know whatever t14 or something so um yeah besides the fact that the game is minimum 17 plus this user agreement basically states that rockstar kind of lets children play this game despite the fact that they are underage and therefore shouldn't actually be near this game but oh if your child gives consent or if the parent of the child gives consent then we will let you and have fun children continue stealing from mommy's bank account <laughs> Freaking hell, Rockstar allows children to spite the fa- And then they have freaking GTA 6 trailer with a freaking twerking chicks on the roofs of cars. And everyone's trying to cancel GTA 6 because it's too sexual for children. It's not the children's game, it's not meant for children! Can you fucking wake up? What the frick, man? Anyways, moving on. Rockstar's officially ended support for Windows 7 and 8 in a now-released Rockstar Games launcher update. An update has shipped out for RDR2, GTA 5, and other legacy Rockstar titles to disable support. It also includes Windows 8.1, from what I've seen, anyways, from the, you know, errors or stuff. You want me? You want me? You want me to just like show here? Here you go. Here you go, right over here. They say Rockstar PC titles will no longer support Windows 7, 8, and 8.1 operating systems starting 30th of January, 2024. There you go. So that's, that's, whoops. That's generally what it is. Anyways, here, I'm showing the discounts here to basically tell you again, specifically here are generally the Average no these prices are wrong. I'm still gonna say that I personally edited the Eclipse Boulevard garage message to show that the original price is 2.7 mil But the actual garage itself is now worth one million nine hundred eighteen thousand dollars Anyways, um, I'm showing this snip because despite the fact that there's triple rewards on these new contents and double rewards and these other new contents not so new but still this new reward system and new the new the new stuff being on rewards i also see the guaranteed arrivals of auto shop customer cars and bike shop customer bikes i don't know what that means so if anyone starts getting this stuff more frequent and more often well good for you anyways <laughs> Background update on February, well today actually, where PES2 has basically stated that you have to be aware of the auto shop resets with every session switch now in which Rockstar's adjustments to the fix targeting the auto shop bug basically backfired. So about that, there's been some comments about it where someone asked what part of auto shop resets exactly, the planned heist? So Tess has responded with Yes, it resets as if you didn't complete the setup mission. You won't be able to spawn into the auto shop as well as since it thinks you didn't complete the setup mission and this th occurs with every session switch. Wow. Rockstar actually royally fucked the auto shop. I'm ashamed at you, Rockstar. You've, you've officially sunk to an all-time low. How dare you? Anyways, background update. Like the image was shown just seconds ago, they basically fixed the bug with a player in an upper height during Big Shot Deathmatch. Another bug with a casino parking garage, the terabyte off the radar glitch, the patch agency gamma workaround, the car to car merge workaround, and a bunker CEO MLC dupe glitch. Wow, okay. So here's the login rewards as I've shown before, but I'll show again. Here's the wooden dragon mask. Here is the red lunar new year dress. And here is the black lunar new year tea. Anyways, that's all the news that I basically have from Twitter. So now let's go into the Rockstar's newswire. Where first of all, there's a new Circle Local Records message from Rockstar Games. Cash for Love by Carlita, now available from Circle Local Records. Which has all of this text as shown right here. And now, for the... Rockstar Newswire stuff that may be of interest to you, where Rockstar states Simeon dishes out triple for premium deluxe repo work and export requests, plus Lunar New Year gifts, a new community series, and more. Or here are the seven new community jobs that Rockstar has released that of course are triple rewards for probably the next three weeks or so. We have Shortcuts in the City, Maze Deathmatch, Yo Rainbow Pistols, Smells Like Vice City, as well as Ali Aquarium, Down Under Mining, and Neon Pipeline. 
as well as that because Rockstar hasn't shown an image again for the house special works latest project Rockstar has said that this vehicle is the Ubermod Sentinel XS. Of course, I don't have an image of it, which is kind of sad. But that's your all the information from Rockstar's Newswire. That was viable knowledge for all of you guys. And that's generally it. Yeah. So that's all of the news and new content for GTA Online for this weekend of the past week. Hope you guys did find this highly informative. And if you did, do leave a like, subscribe. And you go the extra mile, share with your friends and comment on what you may have liked or disliked about this week's new content or any new mentions. And of course, these videos are like, you know, 20 plus minutes long because I try to go through the most detail possible for you guys to know or understand or to see what is new in GT Line as of Thursday evening. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all on the next one and have fun doing those Simeon jobs, I guess. Something. I don't know. Have fun trying to find vehicles to like, you know, source and repair customer vehicle. Whatever makes you money, whatever floats your boat. Have fun out there, good luck, and uh, see you on the next one. Enjoy.